two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Let's begin. If you allow a strip of aluminum foil to rotate freely on a stick and then light a candle beneath it, the heat rises and propels the foil. Crush some eggshells into a fine powder. I decided to use a blender because it worked better. Then place a bit of flour into a bowl. Add a few scoops of crushed eggshell and a small amount of water, mush it up into a paste and shape it. Then roll it up and place it on the counter to dry for a few days. After waiting, you can take it out of the paper towel and it works like chalk. Rocket propellers use Newton's third law to move forward. In this example, air is forced out the back, meaning the cart experiences an equal and opposite force that propels it forward. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. The heat from the candle does actually spin the aluminum foil, and yes, this is a real recipe for creating chalk. That means this one's fake. The hairdryer is not nearly strong enough to propel the car forward, and the whole thing was put in reverse. Hopefully you got that one right, but if not, it's time for round two. If you place matches and string in a configuration like this, you can release your finger and it will still hold up a pretty heavy bottle, no glue necessary. If you cut the tips of matches and put them in a two liter bottle full of water, you can squeeze the bottle and then the match tips will rise. If you light a match, drop it in a glass bottle and then balance an egg on top of the bottle. After waiting a few moments, you can successfully pick up the bottle with the egg. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. When the match goes out and the air inside the container cools, a partial vacuum is created that tries to suck the egg in. This egg was too large to get sucked in, but the suction was strong enough to lift the entire bottle. If you thought this balancing video was fake, well then you'd be wrong. That means this video is fake. The original video was in reverse. Match tips normally float in water, so squeezing the bottle compresses them, making their density slightly higher, just enough that they will now begin to sink. Next up, it's time for round three. If you place hand sanitizer on a plate and add Himalayan salt, the reaction is dangerous if it comes into contact with the paper towel, and the paper towel will catch on fire. An empty aluminum can has a hard time balancing on the surface of water without falling over. But if you let the air pocket underneath the can escape, then an empty can is quite stable in the upright position. If you poke holes in a raw egg, then blow out its insides, you are left with the shell of an egg. Place that shell in vinegar and let it sit for a few days. After waiting, you'll see that all that remains is a slimy sack, which can be blown into a sort of ball and bounced around in an activity that is more fun than it would seem. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. If you thought the hand sanitizer video was fake, you'd be correct. The salt was purely a distraction. It's the fact that hand sanitizer is flammable, but difficult to see in broad daylight that makes this trick work. In the dark, you can see the blue hand sanitizer flame pretty easily, but in the original video, you would have had to see the more subtle heat distortion near the flame. Please don't try this at home. 